In this video, I'm going to show you how you can start a side hustle and make $500 or more very easy by doing this. This is not a clickbait title, this is not a clickbait video. Actually, I believe this can work. There are already a lot of creators that don't have time to create short videos from their long videos and already are paying $500 or more for someone to do this job. And if you're looking for a side hustle, why not this person be you? We are going to do that without excessive knowledge in video editing. I'm going to show you how you can do it right away for free by using CapCut and specifically CapCut desktop version. To show you how easy it is to create short videos from long videos for creators, I will use for this example a video from Chris Brockhurst. Chris is an amazing creator from Canada and also he's a very good friend of mine. And by the way, He's very close to 100,000 subscribers, so if you're watching this video right now, I will have his link down below. Go give him some love and subscribe right now. I'm going to have all the necessary links in the description of this video down below for you to download the CapCut desktop version. Thank you to CapCut for supporting this channel. Without any further ado, let's go into CapCut. We are in CapCut and we have the long form video that we will create the short ones. The first thing that we're going to do to start is to drag this clip and place it into the timeline. If you want to be fast and precise with your edits and you don't want too much time to create the short video, you can right click on the video and click on split scene. CapCut will analyze the video and it's gonna split all the different scenes on the video. As you can see, CapCut has recognized all the different scenes and has already made the cuts. For this example, I'm gonna do the traditional way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and find a segment to create the short video. If you're a beginner, you're just getting started, just two or whatever your lens goes. So I'm watching on the video. That you may have spent it wide open for big portions of the movie. The aperture choice or the T, let's say you buy an F1.2. Okay, let's say we start from here. I'm gonna split it or Command and B. I'm gonna select this and delete it. I'm gonna zoom in by pressing Command and the plus Oops. sign. Let's say you Oops. Okay, let's start from here. I can also delete the left with Q. Say you buy an F1.2 lens and you think now I'm gonna be able to go and shoot family shoots really easily only if they're in a straight line next to each other if there's any depth to that image whatsoever if one of them is like a foot in front of the other person or two foot in front you are going to get one person in focus that eye autofocus is going to stick to that one person but the person behind or in front they're going to be out of focus they're going to be out of focus so i'm going to select here again split take this and delete it. We're gonna make a short video, so the video is going to be vertical. So how we can change all of this? We can go into the project, we can click on modify, then we can select the 916 ratio, and as for the resolution, I'm gonna place 2160 and 3840. So I have a vertical video. Now I'm gonna drag it here and make it as you can see, it auto adjusts the height, so I can make it full height. The majority of vertical videos, in order to succeed, they need to have captions. Now, instead of going and write the captions by yourself manually, we're gonna go here to text, we're gonna go to auto captions, we're gonna select English and click on create auto captions. Boom, we're ready. The captions are auto-generated. If we see any mistake from the AI, we can go here to the basic and correct. For example, this is a lens, not lens. You buy an F1.2 lens and you think now I'm gonna be able to go and shoot family shoots really easily, but only if they're in a straight really line next to each job. other. If there's any depth to that image whatsoever, if one of them is like a foot in front of the other person. You can use templates on how the auto captions are going to appear. For example, you can go to the free ones that CapCut gives you. Let's see, for example, this one. You buy an F1.2 lens and you think now I'm gonna be able to go and shoot. Or you can upgrade CapCut to the Pro version and you can find more templates, for example. You buy an F1.2 lens here. and you think now I'm gonna be able to go and shoot. And after you select the template, you can select all of them, go to the font size and make them bigger. You buy an F1.2 lens and you think now I'm gonna be able to go and shoot. Oh, I'm gonna zoom. Let's say that we want to create a transition. And shoot. Example, Family shoot. We have a small gap. I'm gonna select here. Go split it, go ahead where I see the audio 
line that is going. So I'm going to delete this. I'm going to adjust the caption and I'm going to go to the transitions. Now the transitions again, we have free transitions, but we also have some pro transitions. I'm telling you the pro ones, it's the name, but they're good. So we're going to drag this and place it as a transition. Be able to go and shoot family shoots. If we want the intro to be with more effects, so we can drag the attention of the viewer, we can go to the effects. Let's select this, for example. I'm going to place it here. Say you buy an F1.2 lens and you think now I'm going to be able to go and shoot family shoots. You see how easy it is to edit this short video. And of course, in order to make the video to be even better, what you need is sound effects. So you go to the audio here and let's search for a VHS sound effect on the sound effects. We have static. I'm going to drag it here where I have the VHS and then select B on my keyboard to cut it. Say you buy an F1. And from here, I'm going to lower a little bit the volume. Let's say you buy an F1.2 lens and you think now I'm going to be able to a little bit more. Let's say you buy an F1.2 lens and you think now I'm going to be able to go and shoot family shoots. And also we want a transition. We want a transition. We're going to drag it a little bit to the right to go and shoot family shoots really easily. Only if they're in a straight line next to each other. If there's any depth to that image whatsoever, if one of them is like a foot in front of the other person, or two foot in front, you after you finish, you go to export and then you select the frame rate 30 fps 24 fps 50 60 25 whatever is your region and of course your preference you go on the bitrate on the higher it's automatically selected the resolution and you can also select the caption exporting if you want a different uh, format for the captions, you click on export. Say you buy an F1.2 lens and you think now I'm going to be able to go and shoot family shoots. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Emilio and I will see you in the next video.